The packed shopping bags are another sign that the hot Brazilian economy has left people in a buying frenzy this season. Silvani Loyola Aquino, who owns a small clothing store in the interior of Sao Paulo State, says she doesn't have to be an economist to realize these are good times in her country. In my store for the past five years, my sales have grown from 20 to 30 percent a year. A decade ago, Brazil was still considered something of an economic underachiever, never quite reaching its potential. But in the last eight years, that started to change. As commodity prices and trade with China grew, so too did Brazil's economy. Helped along by anti-poverty measures that lifted more than 40 million people into the middle class, people that arrived with money in their hands, ready to spend. And it's not just Brazil, the world is changing fast. According to a new report in 2011, these are the world's top six economies. The U.S., China, Japan, Germany, France, now followed by Brazil. But according to another forecast, by 2050, the top six economies of the world will be this. China, India, U.S., Brazil, Japan, and Russia. The BRICS countries are going to be the largest economies in the world, in addition to, of course, the United States and Japan. So it is already happening, and, it, and I think the trend will continue. But Brazil has always been a land of stark contrasts, and that still is the case. Just this past week, the government reported that in the last decade, there has been a 75% increase in the number of Brazilians living in shanty towns or in substandard housing. There are now 11 million Brazilians living in such conditions, the total population of Portugal. But initial numbers indicate sales for holiday shopping this year up by almost 20% for items such as perfume and clothing. Maybe proving that Brazil's next major challenge is making sure overall economic development within the country, things like education, housing and health care, can keep pace with everything else. Gabriel Azando, Al Jazeera, Sao Paulo.